guys, welcome to Thailand. I have been traveling for the past 28 hours. I'm exhausted. Can you tell how good I look? Like, I look like I just straight up did an Instagram shoot. It was the funnest flight ever though. I had such a good time. I'm trying to work through some brain fog because I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm gonna try and tell you the story. Met up with my friends who are coming that this is the problem. They're supposed to be here and it's just me, just me because their flight got delayed two hours. I was on a different flight from everybody, but we all left at the same time. So their flight took off from Salt Lake at 8 a.m. and my flight took off at 8 a.m. from Salt Lake. So we were all supposed to meet up in Bangkok and it was all gonna be great. There was no problems, right? Well, they were actually supposed to get here before me. And look who's here. Suckers, I'm just messing with y'all. I fly from Salt Lake to San Francisco and I meet this guy, Nick, who ended up being super dope. Nick was born and raised in Salt Lake and he was flying to Bangkok because he's moving here and he's been here a bunch, all this stuff, so he knows he knows the way and I was like, thank God I made a friend, like someone's gonna help me get around this place, right? Super nice guy, he helped me all the way to Bangkok, like buddies, buddy buddies the whole time. It's a funny story, I'm actually sitting next to him in the Salt Lake airport and he's playing on his Switch, he's playing the soccer game. And the only reason I remember that is because I was like, oh, like he brought a Switch, so did I. <laughs> like nerd things, right? And so I meet up, we meet up in San Francisco and he walks by me and he's like, oh, are you like headed to the international terminals? Because you have to go out and go in. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, where are you going? And I was like, I asked him. I think I asked him actually. I was like, where are you going? He's like, Bangkok. And I'm like, shut up, me too. Like, thank God. I was like so worried traveling alone a little bit. I wasn't too worried, but like, I'm a, I'm a girl, come on. Like, we can't just do that. I mean, we can. It's a little riskier though. So sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Um, anyway, so then we go to the terminal for internationals. It's all great. This 13 hour flight from San Francisco to South Korea has zero Wi-Fi the entire time. I did not expect this because I fly to Europe all the time. I've flown to the Middle East. Like I've flown around, okay? There's always Wi-Fi and it was a Delta flight. So like, you know, if you fly Delta, well, they were partnered up with South Korea. Okay, I'm just walking in here to talk to you guys because there's people in the lobby and I'm being really loud. So 13 hours, no cell service. I'm like, people are gonna think I died. Like, think about that. Your work day is eight hours. No, I was on this plane 13 hours, zero cell service. Nothing to do because I was just planning to be on my phone the whole time. Luckily I had a book, I had a YouTube video to edit. I had some stuff to do, so we just did that. Girl, look at my eyes. I'm so sorry you have to see me this way, but it's what you're getting today. So then I land. And I text my friend Lucy, like, hey, where are you guys at? Where I'm in South Korea. And she's not replying. Like, the messages aren't going through. So I'm like, oh my God, like, she's still on the flight because her messages aren't replying. Like, she's not responding. And I know I was just on the flight where, like, my messages weren't going through. She was on a South Korea um, flight. So then I go through customs. I go to the gate. I'm sitting there to go to Bangkok. I'm about to board this plane. And I get a text from her husband that's like, we just landed. I'm like, oh my God, that's sucks like there's i'm like sitting there, i'm like there's no way that they'd make this flight people from their flight did make the flight though so i don't know what happened to them i'll have to get the deets on that but board this flight i go to bangkok i couldn't stay behind with them because my luggage is for this flight so then if i didn't get on the flight my luggage would just be alone in bangkok right so i was just like okay whatever like I'll make it happen, right? I've done a lot of research and like honestly Bangkok's one of like the safest places for solo female travelers So I was like, it's gonna be fine. And it was here in my hotel and everything was fine um, But I also did a lot of research so don't just, just like novicely go and like Send Bangkok, especially if you're a woman Do your research. Anyway um, So I land, got Nick with me, King, King Nick um, he like tells me about the Uber system, download the app, get the Uber, right? Tells me how to like exchange currency, where to get most for my money. Like, dude was so clutch. Like, thank God I met this dude. He was awesome. And so I Uber here and now I'm here after 28 hours of solo travel. So we're just waiting for my friends. They're going to get here, I think, in the morning. They are staying the night in South Korea. So they went out in the city, they got a hotel and... Hopefully they're alive. I mean, I have no idea how that works over there. So, I mean, they're in a good group. They're gonna be just fine. But now I've got this whole place to myself. I'm organizing, which I actually really like. I like having a minute to like just have time to myself to like get my things together. I know I'm like organized in my bag, like I packed to come here, but it's just nicer to be like, okay, now I'm here. 
where can I put my things, you know, like just organize it all. So I'll give you guys a house tour. We're only in Bangkok, I think for three or four days and then we go to Krabi. So I'll take you guys along on the whole thing. I don't know if this is gonna be like one video, two videos, three videos, a day video. Um, but tomorrow you and I, just us, are gonna go to the bank and we're gonna go exchange our currency and then I hear 7-Elevens are popping, so I feel like maybe we'll just walk in a 7-Eleven and just see what's going on. I know that sounds funny, but like literally every single person I met on the airplane today was like, go to a 7-Eleven. I'm like, okay. Also, my best friend Lucy, her husband, um, lived here in Thailand for two years, and so he knows, he knows the language, he knows the place. Like, I got off the plane, I'm like, literally so jealous he got to live here for two years. Like, who gets that opportunity? It's freaking amazing. So, it's so nice because he's like planned this whole trip out. So huge shout out to you, Ty. Thanks for the invite. I can't wait to see what this trip's gonna be, but like without you, this literally wouldn't be a thing. So huge shout out to you. And huge shout out to my friend Lucy because she's my friend. Anyway, <laughs> I freaking love Lucy. You'll come and find that out. I freaking love Lucy. Anyway, I love Lucy like the TV show, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take you on a tour of this place. Okay, so you walk in and we have this huge pool table, which is super dope. And then we have this cute little chill area. We have this cute bar. It's all the skincare I bought in Korea because South Korea is known to be like the best skincare in the world. So we'll go over that here in a minute. Don't you worry. And this is bedroom number one. Also, Savage X Fenty sent me this cute set. And if you need cute loungewear, they came through. It's so freaking soft, and the amount of compliments I actually got on in the airport was insane. The back of it is pretty sick. Like, I felt like the coolest girl in the club. Like, ain't that cool? So, thanks Rihanna and your team for plugging up the swag always. Love it. It's this cute little room in the back. Um, but it's got its own bathroom too. Super nice. Same vibe. So, Tiana and James are a couple. Lucy and Ty are married. And then there's me and Nick. And me and Nick are just friends. Like, I hung out with him like, I hung out with Nick like twice. Super nice dude. But like, we're not dating, we're not, you know. Are probably gonna sleep here, which I'm actually so about because they're freaking comfortable. So I've kind of claimed this one, but I'm the first one here so I can do whatever I want. I'm so nice leaving the bedrooms for them. I could have easily taken one. But like, couples get it, I know. I know. Anyway, so I picked this one because it's by the outlet. Smart thinker. So this will be my bunk buddy Nick. You will see plenty of the Nick. Um, because he's gonna be my wingman. I'm going to get ready for bed because you'll never believe the time here. It is 2.35 a.m which is probably like noon back home. So like Pacific Standard or Mountain Time, noon or 11. Oh, you know what I'm gonna show you guys? I'm gonna show you guys some stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine in the airport and the skincare I bought at the airport. I love skincare. Okay, it's obviously so beat right now because I've tried my best, but I have been traveling. So I'll show you guys what I do that helps make me not look a hundred percent dead because I could look, I look bad, but I could look way worse. Also, I just have to show you this before I forget. How cute is this microwave? How cute is it? The door is like right next to the lobby and it's like 3 a.m. So like people are coming back from going out. So everybody's a loud out there right now. Don't they know I'm just trying to vlog? Jeez, anyway. Guys, I bought so much stuff in Korea because the women in Korea are beautiful and their skin is flawless. Like every single one of them, I was like, so I went to the skincare store and the woman there was gorgeous. And I look at her, like her skin was just snatched. I look at her and I go, I wanna look exactly like you. Tell me what you do. She's like, okay, what you need is tea tree mask. Do I think you need to get them in Korea? No, but tea tree said, she said it's like super hydrating and that makes sense. Like, especially with my skin, I'm super dry. So she gave me this tea tree essential mask, all in Korean, no idea what it says. Um, she swore by it, so I got two because they were so cheap, literally so cheap. And I knew coming back to Korea, I'm going back, when I fly back home, it'll be at like midnight in Korea. And so I asked her, I was like, are you guys gonna be open 
at midnight. And she's like, no, we close at 7.30 p.m. No, 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 sorry. They close at 9.30 p.m., open up at 7.30 a.m. I was like, then I'll miss it. So I literally had to stock up right then and there. But she loved me, so she gave me so much free goodies. Okay. So then she said they, these were just expiring, so I could just have them. I was like, okay. So they're just collagen masks. I've heard mixed things about collagen, though. I've heard collagen doesn't, like, absorb into your skin. Like, you can't just wear collagen on your face. So I don't really know about that. Then she gave me some cleansing foam tea tea tree cleansing foams and then this is the one I'm really excited about this is the big boy um and there's some other little goodies she put in there like she just gave me so much tea tree she was tea tree goes all the way except for these big ones have something else it was a fancy word so Nick went shopping with me in Korea and he knew what the word was too it's something that Koreans like swear by also they put a lot of milk on their face. I was talking about it. I don't I don't know. They just like put their hands in milk and put it on. So maybe try that. I mean, I can't do that right now, but like, don't think I won't. Essentially though, I got one for me and one for my mom because my mom, she's a sweet lady. She never really treats herself and like Korean skincare. She's gonna be so stoked. So I got her one. Essentially, this is like face gold in a bottle. It's a day and night cream that you use, so. We'll see, we'll see. Um, hopefully you guys are good angle freak. Shoot. Let's see. You guys should see my impromptu tripod for you right now. You're on a stack of napkins with a remote underneath you. It's, it's a mess. Anyway, my toxic tree is that my suitcase code is 000 and I think nobody will guess it. I feel like everybody's suitcase code is 000. Am I making that up? Like I didn't even make that code. It just somehow came that way. And same with my other one. Anyway, I'm kind of delusional. There's nothing I really need in this suitcase. I just need to like look at it and be like, oh, I guess I have pajamas in here and stuff. I'm exhausted. Guys, I'm a really weird packer too. I know if you watch my, my packing vlog, it looked good, right? But just let me show you what this side ended up looking like. Oh, well that. Okay, it doesn't do it justice. There's a box of cereal in here. Because I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know if I'd be hungry. And I'm really hungry, so I'm really happy I did pack a box of cereal. I don't need anything tonight. I need to just take these shoes off and get it together. I'm kind of trying to prep for tomorrow too, because I just don't like to be the guy that like holds everybody up. Okay. So apparently mosquitoes are crazy here. Which is true, I've already seen like two in here. Actually, now that I think about it. So I'm ready to go with the insect repellent. I made it freezing in here because I don't know Celsius and so I made it 22 Celsius in here. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but I'm so rigid right now. So he this is ready to go for tomorrow. I've only taken off half the wrapper. Sponsored. Here's actually, this isn't sponsored, but this is actually, I'm recommending this because I went to the immunization place, like the Utah Health Department. I went to the Utah Health, Health Department before leaving because I thought maybe I needed to get typhoid again because I got it when I was supposed to go to Bali, but then it fell through, so I didn't even end up going to Bali, but typhoid's apparently good for five years, so I didn't need it, but they were like telling me how bad the mosquitoes are, and they're like, this is the one you want. So they like printed me out a picture of it so I could go home and buy it. They literally like printed me a sheet of a picture of this one. So if you're going to Thailand, you can get it on Amazon. Why is it not focusing? You can get it on Amazon. It was like eight bucks for two and they're travel sized. So, cause I wasn't sure if I was gonna check it back or not. So I got travel sized. It's super sticky right now though. I don't, maybe it exploded a little. Anyway, my hands will be safe for the minute. One of my zippers that I like, like this one's bikinis, right? This one is my fun zipper. I put fun things in there. You wanna know what's fun? I'm so random sometimes. Mind you, I was also packing at hours of the night that I should have not been packing. Ooh, I forgot I packed these little sunnies. How do you guys feel about these? Can you tell me, honestly? Are these a vibe? Are we vibing out in these? Ooh, kinda look cool. I'm gonna wear a hood this whole trip in the 100 degree weather. The guy on the airplane is like, oh, it's like winter here. I'm like, oh, like, 
what's the temperature? He's like 60 degrees, 70 degrees. I'm like, I get off the plane, I'm like, taking this jacket off is so freaking hot. I'm like, it is not winter. And thank God, because I did not pack for winter, I definitely packed for summer. So when he's like, it's winter, I was like, well, I'm gonna have to go buy some new clothes. We got those, we got these on Amazon too in black. They came in a pack in black and brown. These are a vibe just now with this outfit. Anyway, you're slowly losing me and I should be going to sleep. We're doing skincare. We were supposed to be doing skincare. Wow. Freak. Okay, we'll do that. I went in there because I needed my meds. That's fine. The... We're taking a prebi prebiotic and a probiotic this entire trip, so we're not getting sick. Um, Ray is the one that I'm taking. I don't know why this doesn't keep focusing. R-A-E. R-A-E. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and honestly, I like it because it has a little minty flavor to it. And sometimes it's just like, I don't know, it's pretty stagnant taking pills. They all taste the same. And this has got a little nice treat with it. Oh, my friend told me to get a cute little phone case that you like carry. And I've seen so many girls in the airport with it, so I guess it's a new move. Um, and if it's not, we're making it. Your girl has depression. It's not a bad thing. We all have our problems, right? But that's the meds I'm getting today because I cannot be off on them. So I usually take them at like noon, between noon and three at home. So that's like middle of the night here. So, but they're supposed to keep you up, but I've taken them like at random times. So I've never stayed up, so it'll be fine. So we have that. I'm also taking magnesium, um, allergy medication, I'm giving D as well. I forgot I did not take my vitamin D today. I need to leave these out so I don't forget to access these. I was a dingus and I put these in my checked bag, like these didn't roll through. Girl would have been off it. Just kidding, I'm actually fine when I'm on my depression medicine, um, but it definitely does help. So like if you struggle with anxiety and depression, I highly recommend one, seeing a therapist and two, figuring that out because I don't say just get medicated. Like don't just go get medicated for your depression, do therapy with your medication. Um, don't just like mask the problem because we all got shit, so go deal with it, you know? Anyway, done with mental health talk at 3 a.m. I'm Hannah Ludwig and I'm an overpacker. First step to fixing your problem is admitting you have a problem. I have a packing problem. And you know, we're always rocking the Bay's bags. They sent me, actually my mom bought my first Bay's bag for me for Christmas and then they started sending me bags, but my mom kept buying me bags so then I gave them away. Don't tell anyone, don't tell Bay's because I love them. I really do and I still want them to keep sending me ones because mine are getting beat up, so hee hee. Um, anyway, but my friends needed suitcases and I didn't need 800 suitcases, so that's what I did. Um, but I do know a lot of people that have bought suitcases because of me, so don't take my sponsorship away. Anyway, base bags are literally my favorite bags. I have a stan of a base bag. And it's not just because I work, like, it's not just because I have a partnership with them, it's because they're genuinely functional bags. Like, they have pockets, they have zippers, they have everything you could ever need in suitcases. They can expand so they can be bigger, they can contract so they can be smaller, so you can take it as a carry-on. I can't, I can't explain it enough. They're amazing bags. It's for tomorrow. I guess we can pick my outfit tomorrow. I don't know why I'm trying so hard tonight. I work so much better at nighttime. That's why I'm like trying to make it happen, but I'm just so physically exhausted that I can't really make anything happen right now. I don't need makeup tonight. I do need my eye drops. My eye drops are in here. So I do need that. That was the only bummer of this flight was I did not have my eye drops. And I live for my eye drops. Like, I love having, like, nothing better than putting eye drops in your eyes. And I'm the crazy person who likes the, what are they called? Rotos. So they, like, burn so bad. But I swear, they're better than that like white and purple bottle. That's like the clear, like the clear reading ones that every they're like twenty bucks. They're so expensive. No, these work so much better. So just let me know about that. Okay, this is done for tonight. We'll zip it up. We'll call it. Good. Let's go to the bathroom and do skincare. Okay, so I'm gonna shower really quick, and then I'm gonna give you guys the skincare routine that I do at the airport. There will be some like steps that I skip, but I'll talk about them. Am I freaking out right here? You know what they made us do? They made us wear a mask. Look at my poor makeup, I'm off. 
sweet girl. Sweet girl's tired. Um, they made us wear a mask on the plane, so and masks just make me break out so much. So that was a bummer. Um, but I'll give you the. That's why we do skincare. That's why we do skincare. Well, I will do the modified version. I will show you guys every step along the way, though. Um, and you'll understand why I skipped some things because I'm gonna go wash my face, which I usually don't do. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Give me okay, I literally just took the coldest shower of my life. So I'm kind of awake. Okay. So I was gonna do the face masks from Korea. I just honestly need to go to bed. It's 3.34 a.m. I've not slept in a couple of days, like two days, so we're not doing this. Okay, first thing I do when I go to the airport, get off the plane. So after every long flight, so like after the after the 13 hour flight, I went to the bathroom, CeraVe wipe. Just take all the dirt off, okay? This is what, this is like my, my kind of my combo. Then I bring this little thing of toothpaste, because I have a specific toothpaste I like, but they don't make a little travel sized one and a travel toothbrush, brush my teeth, okay? Deodorant, you don't wanna be smelly, working with a girl, okay? And then this is where the skincare really starts. So, I have a travel size Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream, okay? Live, laugh, love this stuff. So I just take it like this. I just got new nails that are really long, so I have to go like this. And then, um, I'm going to, Rub that in. Once that's all in, you're going to take. Depends if this is the morning or the nighttime, okay? If it's morning, vitamin C, always. I've not tried this one. Herbal War Botanicals just sent me this new one. I just ran out, so luckily I brought this one with me. I don't know how it works yet, so I can't tell you guys, but I do like their products. I just have not used. I'm very particular with what I put on my face, too. So I know they have good ingredients, I've just not used it. Um, so if it's morning, do that. If it's not morning, you can skip this step. So I go in with the Skin Cuticles Phyto A Brightening Treatment. And what it does, it's a daily corrective moisturizer to enhance skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. Honestly, this just helps really get rid of like cystic acne or like deep rooted acne that maybe hasn't even come up yet, but I used to have like these bumps on my face. And this, I worked with my esthetician and she told me to get this stuff and it's literally changed my life. So shout out to Lene because she has changed my skin for the better. So this stuff rocks. Okay, depends if you're going on another flight. If you're going on another flight, I put on this flight mode skincare mask. Just can soak into your skin. It's super hydrating and I got this in like a fat fit fun box and I've been obsessed and I'm almost out so I need to get another one. So if you're going on another flight, pop, pop one of those on. If you're mid flight, do this is like do the skincare wipe and then just put this on. Get off the plane, do the normal skincare, and you're gonna be glowing, okay? So then after you've done your serum of whatever you like on your skin, um, I go in with the rich cream by I do not know how to say this. Eustina Spadier, maybe it's French, I don't know, could be making that up. Whatever this is, I freaking Love it. This like minimizes all my pores, makes my skin so hydrated, and I have the world's driest skin. Oops, so that's super important. Okay, so then I go in with a little bit of this. So good. Oh, you know what I did forget to do on my neck? I do the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. They say it's Botox in a bottle. So I like to do this on my neck. I like to do this here. Anywhere where like lines are forming, especially like me, I'm the heaviest sleeper on a plane. Like, I will come off and have all these, like, random lines on my face. I'm like, what did I do? Like, people probably walk by me and I'm probably just looking like a wreck. That's okay. And then lastly, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. So this is a, a moisturizer itself, but I just am so dry that I have to hydrate 24-7. The Skin Cuticles Rich Restorative Moisturizer for Normal and Dry Skin. I can bathe in it. I can bathe in it. Good glop of that all over. And this is honestly my skincare routine every night at home too. But I get small travel sizes of everything. Like that's my key. Like, let me see if I can pull this up. Like I have all these products at home, but everything I do is travel sized. Even if I'm checking a bag, because it just makes things so easier. So like this bottle, I bought it the first time and now I just refill it because I use this at home. So you just can carry this and it's so much easier than like 
how many of you use like stuff you don't really like, you know? So like you don't use products, you don't know if they're gonna be good for you or whatever. Like you know it works for you, you have your routines, make it happen. So like I have the big bottle of this at home, I have a travel one. Um, same with my eye cream, I have the really small eye cream for travel and I have the big one at home. So it just makes things easier. And then I carry all this stuff in my backpack. So my makeup and stuff I put in my, just depends. Okay, it really depends like where I'm going, but like this is usually what I carry. Three little pouches of things to get ready. So I'll do like my skincare pouch. If I need makeup, I'll do a makeup pouch and then like a random pouch. With that, that is my skincare routine um, that I do at the airport and on travel. And I also end up with some flow nights because your girl is asthmatic. So <laughs> we're getting real deep now. I need to brush my hair and go to bed because I am like at that point where I'm delusional and I just want to talk, 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 but really I should just sleep, 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 sleep. Like, can you, you see these purple bags under my eyes? They're purple. They, poor, poor girl. I know it took me a long time to get a travel routine down because I didn't really, one, I mean, I didn't know because I didn't travel a lot when I first started traveling, but then once you, once it becomes a habit in your life or you just like start doing it, you should just keep taking care of yourself because there's no, there's no worse feeling than like getting to an airport like 28 hours later and feeling like you did nothing for yourself because you're eating all this crap food on the airplane that they're serving you. You're not walking around. Like, so little things to take care of yourself, you definitely need to do. Um, and I'm going up a hard way because I will go in a spiral if I'm not taking care of myself. So, and see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, good freaking morning. Um, we have a lot to do and we've not done anything. So we got ready. Um, I have a really cute fit on, but I'm alone. So I dadded it up. So I put on a hat. Um, put on this little like dad shirt that I got at Goodwill and then let me show you the rest of the fit These cute pants from Urban Outfitters Dad new balances just a white tank, but then when we're walking the streets alone, I can literally just like button this up and I look like I have no body. I'm just I'm just a guy. I'm just one of the bros and then we'll do something with my hair like we'll like put it No, we do not want to get kidnapped today um, we just want to, you know, risk it. We don't need to risk it. So what we're doing is we're going to go exchange our money and we're going to get some food. I'm starving, but my stomach's already so upset from eating Thai food. TMI, but like, she's not doing well over here, okay? Just trying to keep it cool and like low key while I'm alone just because nobody's with me. Um, and you know, safety first. So I don't want to like draw a lot of attention to myself. I already stand out. Don't look like anyone here. And with a vlog camera, like, it's really gonna stand out, so. Guys, I literally look like my grandma. This is, gr I'm in straight grandma fashion right now, but that's what keeps you safe. Grandma fashion is a sleigh. Grandma fashion for the win. Should honestly like even tuck this more up so then it's like that. super freaking 
unhealthy, but today we're on a food tour. So I got a whole cheesecake after I just had dumplings, gyoza, noodles, and spinach. I had spinach, so it evens out, right? Guys, I've been sprinting. So I got a text from Lucy. She said that they're at the airport. So I sprinted home. Well, guess what? Their luggage is lost. So they're currently filing a claim for their luggage. I feel so bad. They've gone through, they've gone through the ringer. But I need to go get money before they get here because if they want in this place, I have to let them in. I literally need to sprint back to where I just was to go get money, make it back here before they get here so I can let them in. And you know they're like, they're gonna be in the worst mood. They've been traveling for so long. They're gonna be so tired. The last thing I wanna do is hold them up. So I have to go. This is where we're gonna end this 24 hour vlog. I love you guys. There's so much more to come. Please like and subscribe. I don't care if that's annoying. If you want me to keep making videos, I'm begging you to do it. I love you guys. And I can't wait to take you on all these adventures. So, see you guys soon.